how are Azrock making any money or maybe all of the other guys are just ripping you off because when you look at something like the ASRock B850 Pro A which will cost you just $140 right now making it one of the cheapest current gen AMD motherboards you can get you really have to wonder how exactly the breakdown of the cost for this thing looks like or you can also get the Wi-Fi enabled one for $30 more. Now when it comes to the power delivery we are getting 14 plus 2 plus 1 phases rated at a maximum of 80 amps which is definitely something you wouldn't expect from such a cheap motherboard. It also still has the two full 8 pins for CPU power when often it's just cut down to one on these more budget boards and also when it comes to memory overclocking as rock rate this thing at up to 8,000 mega transfers per second. However I highly doubt that a lot of people who are buying such a cheap motherboard are also able to get RAM that can overclock that far. But when it comes to PC expansion, well, we only get two slots here. But that's still probably one more than what most people will use nowadays. The primary one is, as you can expect, a PC Gen 5 for 16 lanes. While the other one is still a capable enough physical 16 lane slot, but in reality, it only has four Gen 4 lanes. It does make me wish, though, they added at least one tiny, even just Gen 3 1 X slot on there for those smaller cards but maybe they just couldn't find room given how you're getting a whopping 4 M.2 slots here again beating out even plenty of higher end boards with the primary one being gen 5 two other being gen 4 and the last one being gen 3 and to top it all off you also get four SATA connectors however as you can expect from B850 you can't make use of all of that expansion at once and if you install something in the third M.2 slot, the second PCE slot is going to get deactivated and if you plug anything into the first and second set of connector then that last M.2 slot is going to run at just two Gen 3 lanes. So those aren't the biggest compromises in the world but just something to look out for if you're wondering why all of a sudden some stuff in your PC isn't running as fast as it should be or not running at all. Then when it comes to other internal I.O. of note we do have 7 fan connectors of various types which should be enough as well as 3 addressable and 1 plain old fashioned non addressable RGB connector as well. Then turning the whole thing around to look at the rear I.O. you get 10 USB type A ports, really? Which again goes without saying is kind of mental at this price. However all but 4 of them are Gen 2 and you still do get the standard 2 type C ports, add to that HDMI for video output and one of those type C ports supports DP 1.4 as well, 2.5 gigabit ethernet, more than enough for most people, the optional Wi-Fi 6E, and unfortunately just free audio jacks. Running out of the rather budget ALC 897 codec, meaning that it's difficult to find literally anything to complain about when it comes to this board, given how it beats out way more expensive B850 and even some X870 boards in its feature set. So it is a pretty insane buy if you don't need things like, I don't know, more regular PCIe slots or having more PCIe lanes which is what X870 can afford you. It's also definitely not the best looker but it has a good overall minimalist look that should mesh well with most builds. And while the Wi-Fi upgrade for 30 bucks probably isn't worth it to most people, it's still there if you need it. Just make sure to update the BIOS once you do get it so it doesn't fry your CPU. You. So if you want to get this motherboard yourself, then our links to it will be up in the iCards and down in the video description below. Using those links means you don't pay anything extra while you support the channel. And down there you're also going to find a Patreon because even a single dollar a month truly goes a long way. Plus huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ella Vroniak, Balaj Voka, Patrick Carrison, a pseudonym, Meg Sumner and Shane Allcroft. But anyway, that's how it is. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye.